Hello, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV here. just want to talk a few moments about the blessings of God. I've been speaking about the secrets of God's power uh, in a 10-volume series. I'm now in volume 11. Forgive the shake. I'm holding this, trying to hold it steady here. The Lord is uh, very interested in... Wow, competition on the microphone. The Lord is very zealous. Hey, Pastor Keith Johnson. Hello, Pastor Prophetic Man Dennis Roop. Hello, dear Mary. I love you so much, Mary. I'm praying for you. Hello, Frank Melfa in New Jersey. God bless you. Please do put my uh, tags on from the last broadcast. You can copy them on the screen here. I'm about to get on a plane. Everyone has boarded, so I'm the odd one. I always do this. I like to walk the plank minutes before so I can stretch my legs over here a bit before jumping on. People seem to run right onto the plane. I am en route to South America right now. I'm going to be taking off in a few moments. And had a long, illustrious day from the morning. Uh, did a lot today. Yes, I am. I'm at the airport. The gate is right across, and they're kind of looking at me. So I'm the last last man standing. But I figured, let me say hi to everybody and take a few moments to stretch my legs out here before getting into the plane. I was just informed that I've been given the whole row, so I can lay down. Isn't that nice? And I think I'm going to do that. So, um, the Lord spoke to me to speak about His blessings. I want to talk about blessings just for a few minutes. The, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and has no sorrow. Proverbs 10.22 says that so clearly. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow. Oh, you don't want to be a pastor, I get you. You're a doctor, apostle, I'm sorry. Forgive my, forgive my, uh... <laughs> forgive that. All right. Don't call me a pastor. I'm not a pastor. Thank you for the safe journey, of course. Favors my portion. We're doing something really huge I can't talk about. It's really, really great what's happening. And uh, already miracles are happening down there uh, over the phone. The host called me on the phone, and uh, the Lord had me begin to prophesy, and I started calling out words of knowledge for healings, and I said, they're healed right now. You'll find them later in the meetings. And this is a meeting that I'm not even speaking at in that session, but uh, one, of my, one of my dear, dear um, covenant daughters in the Lord is on the program with the other pastors, and the, the power of God's already moving. So anyway... I want to talk about blessing. Wow, 82,000. That's awesome. That's really hot. Wow, you got it. So, you got it there, man. That's awesome. Keep it up. I have to play golf, too, don't we? So, the Lord is uh, very interested in blessing us. I can see that I'm going to have to pick this up. Uh in another session and I'll do it yeah I'm coming oh you just came to tell me it's only me so I'm always the one right just let me leave this with you because they're 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 itchy for me to go on board uh, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow yeah we will do that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow, no trouble. So God wants us to be rich. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 talks about hidden riches, riches, hidden riches, treasures, even from all kinds of places. And you know what? When it hits the hands of the righteous, it, be, it gets sanctified. So uh, we're, we're, we're receiving. Now, here, now here's, here's the thought that I have, and I got to go. But here's the thought that I had. The Lord said to me, tell the people to always be looking for blessings. 
Now I'm giving you an instruction. To always be looking for blessings. Always look on the positive. Everywhere you go, look for favor. Everything you get involved in, look for the, the most positive, blessed outcome. Look for the hand of the Lord in every situation. Look for the Lord to make you rich and give you, put you on top. Look for money to flow your way and riches and resources and blessings to flow your way. And you, you have to have that, you know, adjustment done in your mind and your imagination that the Lord will um, have something to work with to confirm it to you. You always want to talk to God and tell Him what you want. Let Him work out the how, but tell Him what you want and you'll get it. God is a good God. He doesn't want any trouble for you. He doesn't want sadness and sorrow and pain and anguish and agony. That's all of the devil. Skip that as much as you can. Get wise and skip the wrong people. Be with people that are easygoing, full of a servant's heart, beautiful spirit. And, you know, you're gonna, every day is going to be a good day in your life. Because you have the right environment going on. So God does want to bless you. I'm going to talk more about the blessings. When Please I come back at you. Open to the picture page with your oh my cards. God. Once again, all rows and all zones for air kind of like 16. They're going to Canada. Okay, Mr. Uh, what can I say? I don't want to say anything rude. You know, he sounds a bit toasty, this guy. A bit sugary, huh? So somebody said. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. I love you. Talk to you from the other side. Look for the blessings of God. Every minute, every hour of every day, because they are there for you. Talk to you later. I love you. Thanks for being my partner also in the ministry. I really appreciate it. Talk soon.